Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios. I hope you're doing well. Today we'll show you how to upgrade passwords today, and this new process was introduced in the first half of 2021. This new process replaces the old web-based process, which not only simplifies the upgrade, but it also makes it more secure. You should always have a backup before you proceed with any upgrade, and you can either do this manually, or you could even use the built-in backup feature that Password State has. Other sufficient methods of backups could be a virtual machine snapshot, or maybe you have purchased some third-party software to automate the backups for you. Either way, you must ensure you have a copy of, at very least, your Password State SQL database, and a copy of your C Drive iNetPub Password State folder, which contains secret keys from your web.config file and this will allow you to build a new environment in the event of a disaster. A question we get quite a lot is, what is going to happen during this upgrade process? We'll run through exactly what happens soon, but effectively you simply run an upgrade.exe file on your password state web server, and this will automatically stop your website and the password state window service, and replace all the files within the C Drive iNetPub password state folder with the latest source files. You'll then log into Password State and you'll be presented with a database upgrade screen which will fully automate the upgrade of the database for you. It's really as simple as that. Okay, so how do you know if you need to upgrade? Well, as a security administrator, you may see some notifications such as these in the Notification Center. Or you can compare the version you are running with the latest version available on the home page of the Click Studios website. Alternatively, you can go to the Upgrade Information page and this will show you the current version you have and the latest build available. On this same page, you have a feature at your disposal called Maintenance Mode, which you may want to consider using. The Maintenance Mode screen will show you any active users that are currently logged in and you can forcefully terminate any sessions in a time frame of your choice. By default, it will give the users 5 minutes to save their work and log off, and all currently active users will receive a pop-up on their screen as soon as you enable maintenance mode, alerting them to finish up their work. Maintenance mode will not allow anyone else to log into the system whilst the upgrade is taking place. Once the upgrade is complete, maintenance mode is automatically disabled and regular website activity can resume for all users. Putting the system into maintenance mode is not mandatory and it's completely up to you if you want to use this feature. Now we're ready to begin the upgrade, we need to download the latest source files. These can be found on the Click Studios website under the checksums page. As I'm running a build of Password State which is already on version 9, I'll download the Password State 9 upgrade file. If you are upgrading from an older version of Password State 8, you will need to instead download the version 8 files, but I strongly encourage you to reference our upgrade documentation just to make sure you are following this process correctly. To save a bit of time, I've already downloaded the source files and these are sitting in a custom folder on my C drive of my password state web server. As a security precaution, you should always confirm the checksum is valid and this just ensures that you are definitely downloading the correct source files that Click Studio supplies. We can do this easily in PowerShell by running a get-file hash commandlet and as you can see the value of this is the same as what's published on the Click Studio's website. This checksum value will change every time Click Studios releases a new build. To save time again, I've extracted the password state.zip file, and to start the upgrade process, I simply need to right click the password state.exe and run it as an administrator. This will run me through a wizard where you'll first need to confirm that you have taken a backup, and you'll also need to accept the license agreement. At this stage, the password state website and the Windows service will be stopped, and it's now replacing all the files within the C Drive iNetPub password state folder. It also performs a health check on your website to ensure it is in good working order, and once it's finished, it will ask you to log into the website to finish the upgrade. So now, if I go to log into the website, it will take a few seconds whilst IIS caches the new files into memory. And we'll then click the Start Upgrade button and you'll see it will run through a series of upgrades to the database 
In this instance, it's only going to do two because I'm running a reasonably new build. But if you are running an older build of password state, you will see more incremental upgrades to the database. And once it's finished, you can log back in and you'll see you are now running the latest build of password state and you can begin using the website again normally. As you can see, the upgrade process is quite simple and doesn't take much time. If you are using other features in Password State, such as the High Availability or the Password Reset Portal module, please ensure that you follow the upgrade documentation to determine whether these modules also need to be upgraded. I've also linked the upgrade documentation in the description of this video, but you can always find it on the Click Studios website under the documentation page. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this helps you get upgraded to the latest version. If you have any queries about this or run into any issues with the upgrade at all, please lock a support call to our team from within the support page on the Click Studios website. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.